Results of a new survey show many service industry workers in Asheville and Buncombe County are having a tough time making ends meet. The survey looked at the wages, sick days, and overall well-being of those workers. News 13's Taylor Thompson takes us through the report and has reaction from workers themselves. Survey results show that over a third of hospitality workers are having to work multiple jobs to make ends meet, and that specifically over 37% are working two or more jobs. Vicki Meath, executive director for Just Economics, says that leisure and hospitality workers make up about 15% of our local workforce. As a community, I think that we need to take care of these workers and advocate for positive changes. Just Economics determined the living wage in Buncombe County to be $22.10 an hour. This really represents what it costs for someone to be able to afford a one-bedroom apartment in this kind of fair market rent region. Research assistant Michael Ratliff explains how results from the survey show that roughly 60% of respondents earn an interim living wage of $3,120 per month before taxes, which equals to earning around $18 an hour. That working just one job or working around 40 hours a week is not enough for some of the respondents to make a living wage. A member of Asheville Food and Beverage United who's worked in the service industry here for 17 years says she feels like a lot of them are barely making it by. It's just so different for everyone, and a lot of the times it is not to the benefit of the employee. I feel like we carry this tourism industry and hospitality industry on our backs, and that there are a lot of employers out there that don't take care of the people. When looking at paid sick days, the report showed that less than 25% of respondents received them. Consequently, 85% um, of respondents also reported having had to have gone into work while they were sick. Leaning towards Meath, continuing to advocate for the need of more work to be done in the local policy arena. We need the city and county to continue to lead by example. Or, you know, it's currently uh, the local budget season and um, we need the city of Asheville and Buncombe County to lead by example by paying their workers uh, a living wage. And to read this report in full, you can head on over to our website at WLOS.com. In Asheville, I'm Taylor Thompson, News 13.